I just need you by my side Yeah That's until the day I die Ever since you found me We the only thing I see Forever and a day is you and me And they can't replicate this unity No pressure I can see I'm watching and they try to do better But you one in a million, you ain't average Girl, I promise I'ma have you living lavish Take a trip, girl, we're about to vanish Cause I'll go anywhere Anywhere Just as long as you with me Cause girl, I know that you get me So I'll go anywhere What's up guys? Today we are headed to Ninenzaka, which is a pathway leading up to a shrine. It's so cool and we're going to show you it all if we can find it. We've been struggling for quite some time now. Kat even had to take her shoes off and put her socks on because she was getting blisters. And we tried to make her wear my shoes but too small so she was getting blisters from that. And now we're like this. Reef sweating, I'm sweating and my hair's going curly. We gotta make there. We gotta, we gotta get there. But it's so beautiful. Basically, if you don't get there in time, everybody it gets super busy here. So it's actually about 6.45 a.m. right now. And we're trying to get there before 7 o'clock. Before it, ooh, I almost fell. Before it gets super busy. All right, y'all. This is the beautiful temple here. This is an alleyway. You can get to it from many different angles. But they said this is the best way to get, like, a beautiful view. Look at that view, man. That's fire. The view here is so beautiful and there's a lineup of people right behind me right now, right behind this camera because everyone wants to see the view. Everyone's taking photos, videos, whatever, you name it. It is just so beautiful to see. Are you guys seeing what we're seeing? I can't believe we're here right now on the countryside and it's just so pretty. Like traveling is honestly the best thing you could do. It's the best thing you can do, man. Mm -hmm. Get out there and travel and sightsee, you feel me? Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, this is so beautiful here. It's so quiet, it's so calm. Like we're literally- For now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> we're literally in the country. And I feel like this is really Japan. Like, yeah. you know, when you go to Shinjinku, Shibuya, you're in the city. That's like going to any city. But this right now, where we are, is with the people, you feel me? We are about to visit the yeah. Starbucks in Kyoto. And I heard this Starbucks is very traditional looking and it's a little bit more cultural than it would be in Tokyo or Shibuya. So we want to check it out. Of course, Starbucks is my favorite Her place. Favorite. You know we had to pull up to Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? Literally. So as you step inside, the first thing you notice is it looks completely different than any other Starbucks. This is it right here. Jeez. Yeah, it's, it's, giving, it's giving all the vibes. Mm. I love it. I love yeah. this. 
You know what I'm saying? So one day I'm gonna have to book that for me and Kristen. I'll beat the brakes off her after I give her that, that Starbucks to get me. You know what I'm saying? Got that private session. <laughs> Oh shoot. So this Starbucks has a little sitting area upstairs. This is crazy. You sit? Okay. There's a little sitting area right there. <laughs> Tables over there. Yes. <laughs> so unfortunately it's super packed in here and I'm so sad about that because I really wanted to sit down and do something like very traditional in Japanese culture so I think we have to leave but have to leave. I do want to come back and visit this again and maybe sit down mm -hmm. next time. <laughs> yeah so guys I tried this this is my drink it's actually pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie, it has a weird taste. It's a citrus yuzu. Alright y'all, so I got this drink. Let's try it. What the hell? What is that? I don't know, but whatever this is at the bottom, I'm not really feeling it. It tastes kind of like... Oh god. I'm not feeling this drink at all. I'm not feeling this drink. <laughs> I went with a caramel frappuccino, but it tastes very different than the ones back home. So this has like less sugar in it. I could taste it. Probably better for you. Probably better for you. Yeah. I don't know what that drink is, but it's not hitting you. Let me try this. I got a cookie too. You know, Starbucks has lit cookies back home, so I'm gonna try this cookie. Let's try this cookie, man. It's all right. It tastes kind of like shortbread, mm -hmm. but no sugar. The sugar coming from the chocolate. Out of 10, I'll give it a 4.5. We went to this place called Glanta, so I thought it would be cute for my sister and I to get matching rings as like a souvenir to remember our time here together. And it's so cute inside. They have so many rings to choose from. We weren't sure which ones we liked, but my sister said that she loved gold, so we're getting our fingers sized. And then we had to come up with a saying that we would want to write on our rings. So we thought it would be cute to write sisters, but in Japanese. So you pronounce that shimai. So what we had to do was write down the letters so that they can put them on the ring, carve it in. He showed us what the rings looked like and the sizes. And then now he was getting ready to put the letters on. So he's just shaving down the ring. So when he puts the letters on, it'll be smooth. Then he puts it back in the machine and goes over the letters one more time. And this is what it looks like, so cute. It's just on the inside, if you can see it there. Now he's gonna go ahead and smooth out the ring, and he's adding the little sparkles and shines that Kylie and I wanted. They put them in these cute little packages for us, but we wanted to wear them right away, so this is what they look like. So cute. We should go ahead and get married. Yeah. Yeah. We should go ahead and get married. I don't wanna put a rush on you. Hope I ain't put it too much on you. Way more than a crush on you And you love it when I touch on you Yeah, I feel why you take time